Hi everyone, it's Adria Black and today I will be showing you how to use Photoshop and the Liquify filter to create an acrylic pore painting inspired abstract art piece. I've really been inspired by acrylic pouring lately and wanted to do a digital version. So I'm just going to select two colors to use as my base for my first layer. And once we have those selected, we are going to go into the filter options and we're going to render them as fibers. Now once you're in the <clears throat> fibers option, you have um, a couple different areas you can play around with. You can play with the variance as well as the strength of the fibers and you can get some different effects by doing this as well as there is a randomize option as well down there. And you can just kind of play around with how they're going to look. You can zoom out to see how the whole piece will look after you apply this filter. Now once this effect has been rendered onto our piece, onto our layer, we are going to, um, I'm going to show you a handy trick. We're going to go to image, image size, and we're going to reduce our full version to under a thousand pixels. This will actually allow um, your liquify filter to to run a little bit easier. It doesn't hog as much memory, and it makes it go a little bit faster. So we're going to um, open up the liquify filter, going to filter liquify and that will open up the liquify options. There are a number of tools here that you can play around with. You can use the push, the pucker, the twirl, the bloat, etc. as well as playing around with the brush size and brush pressure while you are in this setting. And I always try to start with a large brush it's about probably a quarter of the size of my canvas when I start. And you just kind of want to move your, your layer around. One uh, additional tip to take note of is that you don't want any of the transparent edges to um, show in your final layer. Unless you're doing perhaps like a, a negative space type piece then that probably wouldn't be bad. But for this one, we're going to make sure that after we're done playing around with all the brushes and tools in the liquify filter that we make sure we have spread the piece all the way back to the edges. So play around with your design until you have the desired effect. Here I've gone a little bit smaller with my brush and I'm using the bloat tool to increase some of the areas and to create some cell-like pieces in there. And then once we have that finished and you're happy with your design, you're going to hit OK. It will apply the liquify filter to your smaller under a thousand by a thousand pixel piece. And you are going to undo your last two steps. This will revert you back to your image that was the full size and then you're going to go to filter and that top one will be liquify and you will apply that and it will be the liquefied effects on your full size piece without hogging all your memory. So that's my quick and dirty little trick for you. Now I'm just going to duplicate the layer, go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. This is going to increase the contrast of my piece. I'm going to play around with the red setting and the magenta setting until it's a fairly contrasty piece. I'm just checking all the other colors there to make sure they don't have an effect. And then I will also play around with my blending options, turning it to screen, I believe. And then I've repeated the same steps on another layer on another piece and I'm going to pull these three layers into my final image here and then I'm going to play around with the layer blending settings and opacity. So I finally got that design the way I wanted it and then I also added a gold style over the whole thing and then here is one of my original spray paintings 
that I scanned in and applied the liquify filter to. Here I'm kind of playing around the same as we have been with the various liquify tools. So this is a great way to use any photos or a scanned piece of your artwork to create that same abstract design with. Here is the final piece after layering it with the other two that we created and some of the finished products that I put this piece on at Society6. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.